salutations, my movie maniacs out there. Today on the block, we've got Eli Roth's Aftershock. Yes, the Corey portrayal of an earthquake that happens in Chile. And we see the story of six people who get trapped in Chile during this very massive earthquake. And we see how they try to escape with their lives from the rest of the inhumanity that's going on in the city. Oh, Aftershock. Now, when I saw the trailers for this, I'm like, oh, this looks like an interesting twist on the standard earthquake story, you know? And, and for Eli Roth as well, this isn't your standard, like, meant to be hor horror, like a horror slasher film. This is more of a horrific events type of film. And we get to see how horrific humanity becomes when it it gets pushed into these extreme situations. And let me tell you, this earthquake is very extreme. Now, we spend the first chunk of the film getting to know our characters, but much like Hostel, I couldn't really, you know, didn't really care about these characters. They, well, I did a little bit for Eli Ross, gringo character, okay? I liked him, and uh, I also liked, uh, there was a, another character, a female character, and I really, you, you kind of pull for them in the movie, all right? Uh, but the rest of the characters around them, you just, eh, you know, and you want at least a couple characters you want to see survive till the end of the film. But maybe it's just the way it was set up that uh, you couldn't quite get behind these kids at the time. So by the time the earthquake happens and the really extreme stuff starts happening around them, you're like, oh, okay, let's see what kind of gruesome thing we're going to see next. Now, that's one thing this definitely has. Eli Ross finger in the gore, okay? There's lots of gore. Probably one of the more gory earthquake films you had seen. The problem that I had with some of the earthquake stuff, you know, you got a lot of stuff falling, which is understandable, but it falls at the point of plot. You, you know, it was very conveniently falling. In fact, you could predict when the next chunk of whatever was going to fall on said character or characters, okay? So it was predictable in that. Now, you don't look for a whole lot in an earthquake film, but you do look for certain things and a little bit of unexpectedness with the characters. And uh, you do get some of that in Aftershock. You get an unexpected in that the character that they set up that you kind of want to be most behind. Yeah, him. He, he ends up not... Yeah, he's the one that ends up being one of the first guys that, you know... So it, there is that. You know, I just... It, it was an all right film. It seemed a little loose. It seemed like it could have been a little bit better with a tighter script. Uh, all the good kind of gory things that happens were in the trailer. And then when we get near the end of the film, there's a twist with one of the characters that is introduced during the earthquake. And it just didn't make sense of why that character suddenly did that. Okay, it, it almost felt forced. Like, wait, they go through all this and this person does that now you, you know it, it almost felt just inserted like oh we have to do something here either they wrote themselves into a corner or they were just trying to figure out you know what next and you don't have the really character arc of one of the characters really getting strong till the very very end either up until then it's not really expected so you know it's a mess all right, if you like gore, if you like Eli Roth, if you like seeing lots of people die and you like to see how crazy batshit people will get once there's an earthquake and they're trapped in extreme situations, well, then you can check out Aftershock. It got two and a half from me on this, okay? There was some entertaining bits in it. The, the characters at least made you laugh. And I would have given it stronger, but there's some weird random cameo by Selena Gomez, which just, you know, takes down a point alone. That about do it for us here at the final cut. Till next time, keep that ticket sub.